I'm Keith Olbermann and this is The Resistance. I appeal to the intelligence agencies and the governments of what is left of the free world, to them as entities, entireties, as bureaucracies making official decisions, and to the individuals who make decisions of conscience, to GCHQ and MI6 in the UK, to the BND in Germany, the DGSE in France, the ASIS in Australia, and even to the GRU in Russia, where they must already be profoundly aware that they have not merely helped put an amoral cynic in power here, but an uncontrollable one, whose madness is genuine and whose usefulness, even to them, is at an end. To all of them and to the world's journalists, I make this plea. We, the citizens of the United States of America, are the victims of a coup. We need your leaks, your information, your intelligence, your recordings, your videos, your conscience. The civilian government and the military of the United States are no longer in the hands of the people, nor in the control of any responsible individuals on whom you can rely. The first step towards compromising our FBI occurred Tuesday with the unilateral firing of its director by the president, prompted by the attorney general, both of whom are, or were at least in theory possibly to be, under investigation by the FBI as led by that director they fired. Our CIA is run by one of that president's political appointees. The first national security advisor was fired and may have been a Russian stooge. The second national security advisor has reportedly been yelled at by the president because he had had the temerity to disagree with him. Our State Department is in the hands of useless amateurs. Our United Nations mission is bereft of power and uninformed. And the White House is run by a cabal of an amoral family syndicate that has spent its first three months slapping a dollar sign on anything that stood still long enough. A cabal with, at its head, a man with seemingly no interest in our laws, in our rights, in our constitution, and with a brain that appears to not work properly. Through our own negligence, the resentments and stupidities of millions of us, and the boundless greed of our elite class, our democracy has all but slipped away from us. It hangs today by a thread, and those who could protect it and restore it and fight for it, even at this late date, the Republican politicians whose voices today could force Trump out of office tomorrow, they are almost silent, owned by special interests and silenced by a power that exceeds even whatever dedication to freedom they once had. All but a few of them fall back into platitudes about the leader of the country firing the head of the FBI and precipitating a constitutional crisis in order to shut down the investigation of his possible high crimes and misdemeanors. Our majority party impotently wrings its hands about timing and how troubled they are, and then they go back to calculating how they will most easily get reelected, with whose money, by whose instructions. We, the citizens of the United States of America, are victims of a coup. For months, we have heard that your organizations have damning evidence against Donald John Trump. Whatever evidence you may have, you cannot conceal it any longer. Whatever we in this country are to you now, wherever you are now, you know that this nation has been a savior to you at some point in the past, and that our stability and our freedom and a government controlling this country that is at least sane is your surest guarantee of a prosperous future. Indeed, perhaps your surest guarantee of any future at all. Now we need your help. Whatever there is on Trump, reveal it. Issue it officially if you can, leak it if you cannot. If your directors and your governments want you to wait, look to the last days here and ask yourselves, plumb your consciences, if there is any time left to wait. Give it to a reporter, give it to an American friend, put it on the internet, leave it outside somebody's back door. There is no time left for protocols and estimations of long-term impacts and tradecraft. A dictator in training has betrayed our constitution and nevertheless survived two nights in office. The dictatorship he may want, the dictatorship he may feel is the natural extension of his past life, the dictatorship he may believe he has earned, has gone in this week from crawling to taking its first few tentative steps. What you have, we need, and we need it now. And to the intelligence community of this country, your patriotic duty is clear. In many respects, in the months since the election, you have provided your greatest service in our history. A democracy that has lost its political way, staggers down the street like a drunk, 
and lurches towards the gutter, yet you have walked a virtually bipartisan straight line, and you have followed your rules, and you have followed the rules of the civilians. And yet, the evildoers still exist regardless. The greatest threat to the freedoms of this nation that this nation has ever faced, the Trump administration, the Trump junta, is playing by no rules. They just offed the FBI director and let him find out about it by reading a TV news crawl in the back of the room in which he was addressing his Los Angeles office. They have no rules. For now, the rest of us who only want our democracy back, we can have no rules either. We will take the risk of reestablishing the rules later on. What you in the FBI, in the CIA, in the Justice Department have on Trump, we also need now. Because by tomorrow, it may disappear, and your ability to do anything with it may disappear as well. Some of us here on the outside have tried the best we could to prevent this day, others less so. Right now, it doesn't matter who did much when. You and the FBI, CIA, the other intelligence agencies, the Justice Department, you must be the patriots now. You and the five eyes, in the PSIA in Japan, in the outfits around the world, too secret to have their names known to us. You must become, for the moment, Americans. We need what you have, and we need it now, and we need it made public. It is more than just the fate of this sloppy but well-meaning country that is at risk. For all of our faults, for good or bad, we cannot be left as a fascist rogue state and an enemy of freedom and international comity. The fate of all freedoms may rest in your hands and your willingness to not merely hint, but show what you know. If we go under, you are next. The freedom you save will be your own. Resist. Peace.